In this question, we need to find the solution of the differential equation tan y sec square x dx plus tan x sec square y dy. Now, first we need to take out tan y into tan x. So, tan y and tan x need to be taken out as common terms. So, what do we get here? Sec square x upon tan x dx plus sec square y upon tan y dy is equal to 0. So now this term can be taken here in the denominator and this will be 0. Then sec square x upon tan x dx plus sec square y upon tan x sorry upon tan y dy is equal to 0. So, now we need to solve this. Now, we can very well put an integration sign over here and here and this will remain 0. So, let us assume tan x to be z and tan y to be t. On differentiating this, we are applying the substitution method here. So, on differentiating this, what do we get? Sec square x dx is equal to dz. And here, sec square y dy is equal to dt. So, we can see this term sec square x dx and sec square y dy is here in the integrations both in the numerators respectively. This is over here and this term is over here. So, this sec square x dx will be replaced by dz and this sec square y dy will be replaced by this dt over here. Okay. So, let's write it here dz upon now this tan x is z so we can write it z plus this one is d t upon t ok so this d t upon t and d z upon t can be written as ln z plus ln t which is equal to 0 and this is also equal to 0 and let us put a constant of integration over here as c. Now I would like to tell that integration of this form becomes ln z because when we differentiate we get 1 by z and when we integrate then we get ln z. Differentiation is reverse of integration and vice versa. Okay. Now ln z plus ln t can be written as ln z into t. That becomes c. c is our constant of integration. Now z into t is equal to e raised to c. Let us write it as a constant value because e raised to power any constant value is a constant value. Now what is our z? z we substituted it to be tan x and t we substituted it to be tan y. So now we are going to place the values of z and t over here. So that will be our tan x into tan y. 
therefore our final answer is tan This is our answer. So, the answer to this question is tan of x into tan of y is equal to k. We have solved our differential equation and this is the solution of our differential equation. Hope you like this videos guys. Please like, share and subscribe.